What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to talk about the future of Star Wars Battlefront. Kind of go on maybe a, a mini rant, you know, over the past four, five, six days we've heard a lot about, you know, Star Wars Battlefront 3, uh, you know, from DICE and, and what happened there. And, you know, I've made videos, I believe, individually on that as well, so I want to kind of recap that and talk about, well, what comes next, because I am truly disappointed i made a, a a point of that even on twitter just you know saying like i want battlefront 3 and i and i don't think we're getting it in fact the odds of us ever getting what would be considered star wars battlefront with that number three is is probably not going to happen more than likely i guess to jump to the end of the topic before i get to anything else more than likely the idea would just be another studio out there not dice not ea would make another star wars battlefront game and it would start from one and then the question would be, well, what would you do with that? And I do want to, you know, that, that's going to be a part of what I talk about here. So in case anybody, you know, missed it, you know, DICE was said to have been working on the next Battlefield game after 2042. Tom Henderson, notable leaker, said that. A few days later, he added a little bit more where he said, you know, they had pitched the idea of Battlefront 3 to EA. EA shot it down, said it was too expensive, said you'd have to make 20% more of the sales than you normally would in order to make the same amount of money. I talked about that actually yesterday, I believe, on my second channel, in which I said, I, I think that's garbage. I, I, I mean, I believe it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying they're making it up. But the idea that they're going to like shoot it down and make a very inexpensive Battlefield game, because we know how cheap Battlefield games are to make. And that's sarcasm, by the way, because Battlefield games are actually very expensive. To make Battlefield over Battlefront, when Battlefront... You know, all you need to do is just have a solid enough launch as opposed to what you did in 1 and 2. And then I think the game would sell itself. Honestly, it really would. And uh, I think you'd easily be able to make up that extra 20% to make the money back. So I, I feel like it's a joke. I feel like it goes down the path of when EA was saying, you know, nobody plays single player games. When it's like, well, if you just make good ones... And maybe they could have smaller budgets. Who really cares? If you make good single-player games, shocker, they'll sell. They'll make a lot of money. And they proved it to themselves with their own games. Mass Effect, and uh, I guess more recently even, Legendary Edition, Dragon Ages have, have obviously sold historically well. You know, even a small little game called Jedi Fallen Order did really well, which was a shocker, right? So I, I've always opposed that. So the thing is now, right, DICE working on the next Battlefield, and the idea of them ever going back to Battlefront seems impossible to me uh, especially also when you see i guess uh, more leaks or rumors but I, I guess maybe it could be a, a fact checked online a lot of the leads of battlefront 2 some of them actually stayed with dice throughout you know battlefield 2042 some of them had left before that some of them had stayed and then a lot of those guys are leaving now too so anybody that was still around for battlefront 2 that were in like higher positions they're gone if if any of them were even left in the first place they they've left so you know it's just not the team that made Battlefront 1, Battlefront 2 anymore. It's it's a it's a different team. And at this point, like I said in the beginning, I feel like it's just it's it's almost conceding. It's almost giving up, right? Because it's like, well, we're gonna lose the exclusive license. That doesn't mean, by the way, they can't make Star Wars games, it just means they're not the only ones. And it's almost like they're like, Well, we know Jedi Fallen Order did well, and then for whatever reason we're gonna continue that and also not continue Battlefront, which also has done well just not necessarily critically, you know what I mean, with like score-wise, people's reception, again, at least early on. But I would argue the reception of Battlefront 1 and mainly Battlefront 2 after the release was, you know, a thousand times better than when, you know, the, the day one, week one, even maybe month one. Those games aged really well in the community because of the support that was given to them. So, and, and that's that, that's the support. Not to mention the sales, which the sales were very good just down, you know, without without them having to do too much, the sales were really good. So I really don't understand why you continue. I mean, I get why you'd want to continue Jedi Fallen Order. But why you continue that being a single player game and then you don't even, you know, give two thoughts to, uh, you know, continuing Battlefront 3. But at this point, even if DICE were to go back to it after the next Battlefield game, I just don't think it would be, I mean, it would be so long. We'd be getting it in like six or so years from now. At that point, it's a Wild West for Star Wars, or at least I hope it is. And again, at this point, I feel like just another, some other publisher, some other studio is going to give a crack at it. Now, the thing I have worries and issues with that, and I did, uh, you know, kind of tease this in the video I made on my second channel yesterday, is... 
I don't really want to start from ground zero again. I think it's actually incredibly annoying. And although I, you know, I liked the fundamentals of the first Battlefront game, it was about as bare bones as humanly possible. And, and I didn't stick around for all of the additional DLCs that came to it. Battlefront 2, I just played it, you know, originally, liked it enough where I did stay around. And then when things came afterwards, you know, I kept going. And it also helped, by the way, that a lot of that stuff was free, whereas the stuff for Battlefront 1 was not free. So, I just, I don't want to start from scratch again because it's like if another studio makes it and they're lazy or they have greed on their minds and maybe not the actual development studio, but the publisher, right? They're rushed, whatever the reason may be. Are we going to go back to, you know, five, six maps, like four heroes, good and bad, and like that's it? Because like that's where we kind of started and then two expanded it. And, and I'm not even talking about, by the way, the OGs, the originals, they had, you know, quite a few things in them too, especially two and what I would have assumed three would have had. And then you look at, you know, this newer one, two, you know, at launch it was okay. But then the stuff that they added, maps, modes, characters, they had a good roster, a good, you know, just a good chunk of stuff that if that's your beginning for Battlefront 3, and then you add a couple more things, then you're you're set. You're basically all set. So I guess what I hope to see is whoever makes the next Battlefront game, and it's again, it wouldn't be in this realm, although it doesn't really matter. This Battlefront 2 is the only one with the story. Nobody really cares about the story. Nobody's going to be sad if it, you know what I mean, if there's not like a logical uh, continuing of it. All that stuff is, you know, just not really, um, it, it doesn't matter all that much. But if you do it, I would hope, you know, the mechanics don't necessarily have to be the same. In fact, like the lightsaber usage was always kind of a divisive issue. If you change that, I don't really think you'd have much, you know, anger there. If you changed out some of the people's powers or even some of the actual, like, classes, like, I don't think that would be the biggest deal. But at least, like, start us where dice left off, right? The maps, give us Mustafar, give us Coruscant, by the way. Heroes, villains, keep all the ones that have come. You know, that have already happened. And then give, you know, Ahsoka, Ventress, maybe uh, Mando, right? Din. All those characters, you got to start. So that's that's what I want. I I, I have a feeling that... And, and I, I did say that yesterday where... I mean, I get how that's a lot to ask for for a first game. You know what I mean? If you're asking for, like, 12 to 15 maps. Uh, I don't know. Say, like, five or six different modes. Maybe three. I don't know. Maybe shrink it down a little bit. Maybe three or four modes. Maybe a single player. Maybe not. You know, maybe like, oh my god, I don't even know, like 12 to 15 each, heroes and villains, even like 10 each. I don't even know if that's as many as Battlefront 2 had. So, I mean, you know what I mean? That's a lot to do in your first game, and that's kind of like the starting point because that's what you got left off with. Now, it would be a different thing, so maybe they don't expect people to assume that they should give us all that stuff in the first game, so we would start with... With no, see how it's a circle? See how we go back to, well, it's our first game. We're getting used to it, so we're going to start you off with the bare bones, and then we'll build on it in future games. It's like, well, we've done that twice, and we were so close to a three, just EA is greedy, and so they, they, you know, they turned it down. And so it's just, it's garbage. It really sucks. But that's what I would imagine. I honestly don't know who would take it over, but I would imagine the way that we're already seeing, and I think we're going to see it a lot more over the next, honestly, one year, like the next full year, we see all of these publishers, you know, studios stepping up and saying, hey, look what we're doing. We're going to start making Star Wars games and we're going to, you know, and I assume they're going to release really soon, really early into when the deal expires with EA. So I would imagine, you know, especially with this out there, and I don't know how much other studios and stuff care about this stuff that happens uh, and, that you know, it happens behind the scenes a while ago and kind of comes out to us now. But if I were studios, I'd be like, oh, okay, there's literally nobody making a Battlefront game. We can do it. Like, I, literally, it's up for grabs now. You know what I mean? You just start over and you go and, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about EA or DICE doing it. They've left. They they killed it. They said, okay, we're done with it. We're going to, you know, stick with Jedi Fallen Order. And that's probably it. It's like, fine. You know, if you don't want to do it, then somebody else will. But again, does that lead to a better game? It should. But will it? I don't know, because I just feel like it's too much to ask for. It's not. I don't actually think it is, but I think they would kind of think it's too much to ask for to assume, yeah, we can give you 30 heroes. I mean, it is a lot, 
but it's kind of what we deserve at this point. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. If you want to follow me anywhere else, I have a Twitter. I have a second YouTube channel. I also have Patreon and YouTube memberships. Links for all of them are in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all on the next video.